Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we're going to take a look at Recall Box version 7.2.1 Reloaded, which includes light gun support. In this video, we'll focus on the Mayflash Dolphin Bar connected to a Wii remote, and then we'll check out a few games. Let's get started. Of course, you can use any Raspberry Pi 4 case that you want, but here's a few that I've used in the past, and I have additional information at the bottom links here if you're interested in checking out those cases. But this is the one that I'm going to use in this video, the Nest Pi 4 case. It seemed appropriate since the NES was one of the most popular light gun enabled systems. If you're unfamiliar with how to install Recall Box, please check out my video on Recall Box on the Raspberry Pi 4. I'll place a link up above to make it easier. This video covers the full installation process, including how and where to copy your BIOS and ROM files. In addition to the Raspberry Pi 4 case and controller, you also need this Mayflash Dolphin Bar. This is what translates the light gun activity into movements that the Raspberry Pi 4 can understand. On the back, there is a switch that identifies whether it's going to be placed on the top or bottom of the monitor, as well as a power switch. Next, we'll go ahead and plug in the Dolphin Bar into an available port on the Raspberry Pi 4. And make sure that the mode is set for 2. If it's not, just press the button until it is. Now we can take our Wii Remote and go ahead and remove the battery cover on the back. Press the Sync button on the Dolphin Bar and the Sync button on the Wii Remote. And the two will be paired together. Here's a front-facing view so you can see what it looks like. There we go. Now we can replace the battery cover and go ahead and put the Wii Remote into the gun. Now flip the top latch to secure the Wii Remote. I went ahead and put some double-sided tape on the bottom of my Dolphin Bar and affixed it to the monitor very carefully. <laughs> and now we can go ahead and navigate the menu system using the Wii Remote. But before we jump into the gameplay, I want to show you just a few little things to help you out. We'll briefly go over the default button mappings for the Wii Remote. Press the left or right buttons on the D-pad to move back or forward in an emulator or category. Move up or down to navigate the game list. To select a game, press A. To insert a credit in arcade games, press the minus button. And to start a game, press the plus button. To exit a game, you press the home button. And of course, when the Wii Remote is installed in the gun, you simply pull the trigger to shoot or fire. One of the really cool features of Recall Box 7.2 or higher is that all of the button mapping is done automatically. It also puts all your light gun games in a single light gun category all ready to go. Let's take a quick look at our overall setup. We've got the case, we've got our light gun and our Wii Remote, and then we have a controller off on the left here. And we have the dolphin bar up at the top of the monitor. Now we'll select our first game, Jurassic Park. This game costs 50 cents in the arcade, so we'll go ahead and insert two quarters or two credits, and then hit the plus button to start the game. I'll leave the light gun close to the camera briefly so you can get a good feel for the latency. There is a little bit, but the games are very playable and very enjoyable as well. One thing you will notice, there is some flashing of artifacts onto the display here that is not common on any of the other games that I've seen, but it is on this one and I wanted to just mention that. Now we'll switch over to the video capture card so you can get a better look. Let's now look at Alien 3, The Gun. 
This game's a lot of fun. You don't have to reload. You just continuously shoot, but you do have to watch your power meter. Confidential mission. You'll never get this disc. And the classic crossbow. I used to love playing this game in the arcade, but it was very hard. <laughs> Apparently I haven't gotten much better over the years. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Now we'll play some classic duck hunt. Now we'll check out Gangster Town. And a classic, Hogan's Alley. Miss that guy. <laughs> now we'll take a look at Area 51 Maximum Force. I 
Yes, both of them. Now we're checking out lethal enforcers. Alright, now we're taking a look at the House of the Dead 2. Please be safe, G. This is a tough game, I got out quite a bit. How could anyone do this? Like it's game over. That brings us to the end of another video. I hope you enjoyed this look at Recall Box 7.2.1 Reloaded on the Raspberry Pi 4 with light gun support. If you are interested in setting up a light gun on your Raspberry Pi, Recall Box is without a doubt the quickest and easiest way to go. The games play well and you'll really appreciate the pre-sorted light gun games list and the zero configuration aspect of it. Let me know what you think about Recall Box in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and share it with all your friends. If you want to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, please click the subscribe. And I look forward to talking with you again very soon.